morning dear students once again we are here to learn some english grammar okay in our previous video number lecture number 27 sorry 26 i had explained you i had started one new chapter that is related to noun in our pnc book okay we had started the language portion okay in language portion pnc book chapter number 7 the noun i had explained to you the total concept of number the whole concept of number i had explained to you there in the previous video so numbers in english we have two numbers two type of numbers singular number and plural number just like if i have only one pencil only single pencil that at that time i can say this is a singular noun i have one pencil or i have a pencil okay a means one i have a pencil but at the same time if i have two pens okay now more than one so there are two pens so this is plural okay plural noun pens but when in any sentence some singular noun changes into plural noun so according to the nouns number of nouns some more changes occurs takes place in the sentence okay so what are these changes that we need to study so now if you have gone through all these exercise and if you have memorized all the, these things because you need to memorize all there is no other way okay so you need to memorize that how to change a singular noun into a plural noun and what are the things and what are the rules which to be followed now after this table we are coming to exercise okay exercise and in my previous video what i had given you the task i had given you the task that you should take a pencil and you should solve this exercise by your own mind okay of course you can take the help of your elders or you can take the help of google internet or you can use a dictionary okay but you should fu uh, fulfill this now these are some fill in the blanks you which you need to be uh, you you need to fill now if you have done this now along with my this video now what we are going to do i am going to explain the correct answers of this exercise now you should you need to match your answers with my answers if your answer is correct you can mark it right tick here if your one suppose your one is correct you can tick right if your second is wrong if you have made some uh, spelling mistake or any other mistake so you can make mark it wrong here now there are 30 30 nouns provided which Uh, for which you have to make thirty uh, plural nouns. So, if you are out of thirty, if you have done twenty five correct and five are wrong, so you can give yourself marks out of thirty. You can write thirty, and out of thirty you have got twenty five marks, and you can give yourself marks. Okay, then click that photo of this exercise. and send it to me on my whatsapp number so that i can check that you have done how many of you have done how many correct answers and how many of you got maximum marks in this exercise so that is the task for you and when once you have corrected it you have clicked it then after that you can erase the wrong answers you can correct it with the pencil the correct answers and then finally you will note down this exercise in your cw notebook okay don't write these tables don't write this explanation only write exercises i had already explained you told you in my previous videos also that you need to note down only the exercises suppose you are starting this chapter this topic in your notebook so cw notebook so you just to put down chapter number 7 the topic is noun numbers and directly you can come to the exercise okay all the explanation part and tables are 
already given here that you need to learn only okay now let's see the uh, solve the exercise uh write the exercise a write the plural forms of the following nouns now some nouns are provided here now we need to write down the plurals of them now what is the first the first uh, word is ship now here let me clear you once again i have already told you uh, taught you this thing ship there are two type of ship s h i p ship if you know if you might have seen the ship in the oceans in the navy you have seen the ships okay they are very large very big and they are uh, sailing on the ocean or seas so these are called ship the focus on the spelling s h i p ship and one more ship ship is there s h double e p ship this is the difference now this ship belongs to one animal what type of animal if you have seen it is a goat like animal it is a dem domesticated animal and that animal is domesticated for getting milk and for getting wool because they have wools on their they have very very dense uh, hair on their body so for their hair and uh, with the help of their hair we make what we make sweaters the warm clothes okay so this is ship now the plural of this ship is only we need to add s ships if they are more than one so ships but for this ship it remains same always remember the plural of ship is sheep same some more animal just like deer the plural of deer okay is same deer d w e r deer okay the plural of fish remains same fish fishes are wrong for a single fish we also call it fish and for many fish we also use the word fish not fishes only fish okay there are some more just like uh, some objects just like hair hair h a i r hair so the plural of hair is same h a i r no change hair hair remains hair so plural of hair is hair okay i have many hair on my head so i use only hair so you need to remember these type of words also so the first answer is sheep same no change if you have uh, if you have written the right answer you can tick right here and if you have made wrong spelling so at that time you can make it wrong here i will provide you the click of this short uh, uh, click of this answers so that you can easily see and you can easily match but here i am explaining you with the explanation okay now this is the first now let me clear the board clean the board <clears throat> now second sandwich you like sandwich your mother might be making sandwich for you in the breakfast it is made on the bread and you have veg sandwiches okay so sandwich so remember the rule when the word is ending with when the noun is ending with ch pronunciation at that time we add only es sandwiches so what is the correct sandwiches story remember the again remember again when any word or noun is ending with y and before y there is a consonant r is a consonant so at that time what we need to do we need to change y into i r y r i then we add i e s then it becomes stories so always remember those rules 
Now bookshelf. When some spellings which are ending with F, we convert F into V. Then we add ES. So it becomes shelves. Bookshelves. So that is the correct bookshelves. F is removed. But at the same time, there are some words. The list is given here. There are some words which don't follow this rule. Okay, the word is ending with F. But even then, we need to learn this type of words just like handkerchief. Chief or handkerchief in both words we need to add only. We don't remove F. Here we remove F but here we don't remove F. Only the thing we need to do is we add S. Chiefs, handkerchiefs, rhino. Now again two type of tables are there. Both, are, both the nouns are ending with O. But some nouns they follow this rule, some nouns they follow the other rules. Okay, so that you need to learn and remember always. Just like rhino, rhino is also ending with O, but here we add only S, rhinos. But in tornado, but in tornado, tornado. We follow ES tornadoes. O E S tornadoes. Okay. Oh, sorry. I am uh, I am going vertically, but this needs to be done. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I am solving like this, so uh, doesn't matter. We continue like this. Okay. Then we come to there also. Now Laos, 15 number, Laos. What is Laos? Do you know what is Laos? Let me tell you. L-O-U-S-E, Laos. Laos is a small insect. Okay, generally they are called parasites. Why they are called parasites? Because they live on the blood of the other animals. Just like these are the small insects which sticks on the skin of the animals or human beings and they suck their blood and on their blood they survive okay they live because they suck the blood from the skin of the other animals or human beings just like uh, the cow buffalo goats on that animal if you have seen there are some small small insects on dogs cats under their hair on their skin they have some small small insects they suck their bloods continuously and in human body on our head sometimes we have some in small insects called zoo okay generally they found in the head of girls because girls have long hair so it is the favorable place for them their survival so that's why boys generally don't have but girls they have louse this type of insect but when it is a single then it is called louse and for plural we use lice okay lice bahut sari chuni lice and the similar word is mouse you know mouse rats okay generally they are found in your homes or in some godowns of uh, some uh, uh, eatable materials, okay, grains, okay, go down to grains and claws, they generally found mouse, rates. But if there are so many, at that time the mouse becomes mice. So to remember laus, lice, mouse, mice. So remember and learn this, okay. So again just come to the 15 number, laus. The correct is lice. Kanto. Kanto. What is Kanto? I explained you in the table. Kanto is a long type of poetry. One story which is uh, written in the form of poetry. Okay. And that long story is divided into different different chapters. Just like in Ramayana, Mahabharata. These are the long story which are written in the form of poetries. Epics. So these chapters the different different chapters okay these 
chapters are called cantos so here we only add s o s cantos bison now what is bison <coughs> have you seen buffaloes around your house or anywhere buffaloes they are black in color and um, the similar if you are seeing discovery channels you know national geography channels if you have seen some wild buffaloes okay so they are similar they are looking similar to the uh, domesticated buffaloes but they are strong enough okay so they are more strong the wild buffaloes they are called bison so the plural of bison is same bison just like sheep remains sheep hare remains sheep uh, uh, same hare the plural of fish is same fish the plural of bison is same bison so correct is bison mouse mice bone we have 208 bones in our body so bones n e s bones only we need to add s scarf 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 which we put around our neck okay so scarf this is a special type of words both can be used just like here if you see in the table a scarf in a scarf you can use f and s or you can you can also convert f into v and then you can add es v e s so both are same okay so this is a special type of word which can be used in either way okay both are correct if you have made s it is also correct if you if you have removed f and you add v e s this is this rule is also correct this rule is also correct for scarf so there are some words which can be used in the either way both are correct dress again remember the words which are ending with the pronunciation of ch s x so dress double s so only e s needs to be added dresses proof only s to be added proofs now we are coming to here now we had solved this exercise like this now we are coming to the second column okay so come to the second column face again ending with s face the pronunciation is s sound is s so faces atlas again ending with s atlases okay atlases i had told you atlas means what atlas is a special kind of book which is available in your library special kind of book which contains only the maps all in all pages you will find what maps maps of different countries maps of different uh, uh, states maps of different districts cities these are all contained in a single book that book is called atlas so atlas is jersey the ending is ey now the rule remember the rule when uh, any noun is ending with y but it is not ending with consonant but it is ending with vowel e e is a vowel in the spelling of jersey jersey you know what is jersey jersey which is a, a, a just a, what we can say it is a worn by us in the winter season especially jersey okay on the shirts we can put it on jersey and we can uh, pull out the chain here so that type of coat which uh, saves our body for from the lower temperature in the winter season that is called jersey jersey is worn over the clothes so jersey so when before why there is a vowel sound so at that time vowel letter at that time we don't use ies we just only add s jerseys it's like monkeys money so like this okay loaf you know what is loaf loaf uh, is a kind of bread okay bread which is in the uh, uh, which is baked in a cake type formation and which is a round upward if you have seen this type of big bread 
like the size of which by which we can make slices of the blades so that is called loaf or any part of that is also called loaf in hindi or in uh, our culture we call niwala ek tukda roti ka tukda that is called loaf now if we have many so what we follow we follow this rule v e s loaves many part of this bread is called loaves hippo again you need to remember two type of tables it is also ending with o but it adds only s hippos eco but for ecos we add es ecos ecos are sound okay eco points they are if we are visiting some hilly areas there are some eco points when we call from this side our voice goes there and returns after a part of second it returns back that is called eco goose you know goose goose is a kind of bird wild wild uh, goose but if we there are some words for making their singular to plural we need to change their uh, vowel vowel letters just like goose goose is used for only one word one goose but if they are more than one goose at that time we use the double e s e only what we need to do the vowel o is changed into the vowel e goose geese just like tooth if i am talking about only one tooth so at that time double o but if i am talking about the all 32 teeth t double e t h so what is the change the change is double o is converted into double e so this is also a type of singular plural just like Mm. Uh, goose, geese, tooth, teeth. Just like man, M A N, man. Here A is a vowel. But if I am talking about so many, so at that time M E N. The pronunciation is same, man. So one man or ten men. The pronunciation is same. But when we are writing, so we need to change the spelling. And similarly, woman. if you are talking about only one woman m a n if you are talking about more than one woman then m e n okay that's clear foot if i am talking about only my one foot so f w o t foot but if i am talking about my two feet so at that time w e t feet so that is the change foot becomes feet so there are some nouns when we change from singular to plural only the vowel vowels are changing in inside the spelling the full spelling so goose becomes geese 16 number men just i have told you men which uh, which will be converted into m e n men ox ox is a special type of uh, number ox if you have seen the male of cow ox bell okay ox but if you are talking about more than one ox so at that time we add e n oxen this is a special kind of example oxen okay there are two oxen they are pulling the bullock cart okay so oxen child just like that children child children if i am talking about only one student so i i would say that this is only one child but if i am talking about all the 30 students in the class so i will say children but one is uh, one mistake which you generally follow you should avoid that children's is wrong there is no s children's is wrong only children the last letter is n children okay so child children there is no children's okay avoid this mistake children child 
children only r e n is added at the end children cliff 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 is a pointed area on the hilly sides this pointed area of the hills are called cliffs chattani parvat that is called cliffs so only s is added cliffs this rules to be followed monkey again y and before y there is a e which is a vowel so only we need to add s no i e s only s monkeys trolley again same rule trolleys only s added brush now brush ends with the sound sh brush so we add e s brushes balloon only s is added balloons okay now this is the solution of only first first exercise now let's come to the second exercise exercise number b but what i had told you if you have uh, marked here with the ticks so how many correct you have opted correct so out of 30 suppose the total is 30 so i note down 30 below the line okay in the denominator we uh, i write the total number total numbers are 30 and suppose i have corrected 24 and 6 are wrong so i will give myself 24 marks out of 30 like this can you see out of 30 24 marks i have obtained so that click you should send to me that sir i have done 24 26 28 corrected okay or 30 out of 30 i have corrected all so then after doing this what about the sing the six wrong then you can erase it and you can write the correct ones and then you should note it down in your cw notebook this exercise now let's come to the success exercise b what is there fill in the blanks by using correct singular or plural word from the help list what is help list clues some help uh, some uh, some nouns are given some nouns are given in the singular form and some nouns are given in the plural form so out of them we need to fill so i have already done this now the correct i will send you but i explain you why this is correct now some what is the list what is provided in the list let's see first lice is there lice which is the plural of louse that is a insect okay lice fish the singular and plural both are same fish masses now what is mass m a w s mass mass is called crowd crowd of people is called mass okay and the plural of mass is called masses teeth the plural of one tooth okay tooth and teeth teeth ratio ratio you know the pronunciation is ratio the t is pronounced like sh here so what what is the spelling r a r a t i t but we should pronounce here sh o ratio ratio so what is the correct pronunciation is ratio now what is ratio if you have seen in your mathematics just like this type of ratio 2 is to 1 Five is to three. These are the ratio. Okay, this type of ratios. If you have, uh, this is used to compare. Okay, uh, just like uh, if I uh, compare two classes. Okay, in class fourth and class fifth. So I can say that uh, in class fourth and class fifth, the number of student, or I can say in your class, only fifth class. then uh, the ratio of girls and boys the ratio of boys and girls what i am talking uh, saying boys and girls is 2 is to 1 means double uh, the number of boys are double with compared to girls suppose there are 10 girls so double of 10 is 20 boys if the girls are 15 the boys are double 30 okay if the girls are 20 so the double of 20 is 
सो रेशियो रिमेन्स सेम नंबर्स मे बी चेंजिंग बट द रिमे रेशियो मीन्स द कंपेरिजन विल बी सेम डबल हाफ लाइक दैट सो रेशियो न्यूज द सिंगुलर एंड प्लूरल फॉर बोथ सिंगुलर एंड प्लूरल वी यूज न्यूज द सेम वर्ड न्यूज सीजर्स by which we cut the gloss or the papers that instrument is called scissors but scissor for the singular and plural both we use scissors s is always there mouse mouse is a singular of mice furniture furniture is always remain same furnitures is wrong furniture always used singular for the plurals and for the singulars both we use only furniture furniture we don't add s with the furnitures furniture is furnitures is a wrong word only furniture singular word now <clears throat> furniture zero now these are the 10 hints and we are provided with the 10 fill in the uh, blanks so now we are going to use one by one the blank of terrorist attack is not true terrorist attack the news of terrorist attack okay so first is news the news of terrorist attack is not true not true means false it is wrong second i bought a pair of scissors to cut claws okay the pair of scissor scissor is always called a pair of scissors because there are two half half portions when they are added then they become scissor so this is called scissors pair they always come in pair just like shoes and uh, shoes always come in pair okay slippers always come in pair trouser we have two legs in the trouser or pant or jeans so they they are always used like a plural so pair of scissors to cut the clothes fourth uh, sorry third did you catch any did you catch any what we are catching in the water fish so did you catch any fish that is a question fish is there. fourth blank live on people's skin and in and in their hair what what live now lies yes it, here it is given lies lies live in the hair or on the skin of the peoples the cat has caught another mouse what is the favorite food of cat mouse so cat has caught caught means pakad liya another mouse ek aur mouse pakad liya six blank of people attended the meeting now crowd the number of people so masses masses of people attended the meeting means we want to say that a very large number of people are attending the meeting you should brush your not only one tooth all teeth okay daily teeth daily these articles of blank are very old now articles articles means different different things made of uh, different different things of same category just like furniture in furniture tables are there benches are there shelves are there so these all are called furniture so articles of furniture are very old means the category of furniture different type of things which belongs to the same category furniture they are very old table is very old bench is very old shelf is very old so all articles are of furniture are very old the school has a very high teacher student ratio just like i told you girls and boy ratio okay girls and boy ratio in the school is 5 is to 3 or 2 is to 1 that uh, that is different for the different school but here if we are saying that there is a very high ratio of ratio of teacher student ratio teacher student like teacher student suppose uh, there are only one teacher 
after 20 teachers means that is the standard ratio means uh, for 20 students there should be one teacher that is a standard but in our India because India is very populated country okay our population is very large we are in the second position in the world after China China is the first country which has the large number of people now after China we we are the on second number so here that is the standard ratio for the teaching but what we find that 1 is to 30 in India in India we are using 1 is to 30 ratio that is a high ratio teacher student ratio means we should maintain 1 is to 20 but here in our India we use 1 to 30 means over 30 students we are having one teacher that is called high ratio so ratio should be here used here the temperature was 10 degree below below zero last night you know temperature in some uh, hilly areas okay in the northern areas uh, in the territories of himalaya we might have seen there snow is falling or oh, and when snow is falling below the temperature below zero when the temperature goes below zero minus 5 degrees minus 10 degrees this this is called below zero last night so these are the correct answers here you can also provide yourself some marks if you have done correct now next exercise on the page number 34 exercise c write the singulars of each of the following words now it is the reverse of exercise a in exercise a we were asked to write plurals but here singulars are provided and we need to write uh, sorry plurals are already provided and we need to write the singulars and it is much easier than this okay because we are provided with this and we need to remove only s or we need to re reverse the procedure now just like cases cases so what is the correct we remove s so it becomes case one case many cases second chimney now we are going like this okay one two one two three four sequence wise chimney chimneys so we need to remove only s because there is a e before y chimneys only chimney remove s chimney third thieves now this is like this f removes and v e s return now e s remove and v is again converted into f so it will become thief only one thief roofs remove s roof flamingos that is a kind of bird flamingos so e s remove e s it becomes flamingo echoes remove e s echo geese this is this type of plural is given geese change again double o it becomes goose only single goose lies lies the singular is laus just like mouse then ninth teeth tooth woman just like this m e n becomes m a n woman w o m a n woman woman children remove r e n it become only child oxen remove e n becomes ox hellos now what is hellos uh, during the table or during the exercise uh, during the explanation part i told you the hello hello is a white type of yellow type of circle which is uh, circle of light which is uh, looks like that it is emitting uh, from back of the head of any religious personality just like any divine personality just like lord lord ram lord krishna when they appear some lights are coming out of their head that circle of light is called hello so the plural of hellos so just remove es only one hello 
13 diaries diaries this follows this rule so it become uh, es is removed and i will again be converted into y so it be, it become diary bison it remains same bison deer it also remains same deer the plural of deer is deer same and singular is also same so now this now this is what about the exercise c again here you have been given so whatever number is given total numbers are given there out of these total numbers uh, i think 16 are given so out of 16 how many of you are correct you can give yourself marks now come to exercise number d what is in the exercise d use the singular forms of the nouns given in the color in the following sentences means in in these sentences some are some words some nouns are given in the blue colors can you see these blue colors now these are given in plural now we need to change them into singular and when we we'll change this in singular some other things some other words of the sentence will also be affected so how make other grammatical changes if necessary so some grammatical changes will also take place when we are changing plurals into singulars so let's see this and how to make this type of sentences exercise d is very very important and very very necessary so now let's see <clears throat> what is the first sentence these writers have written many books these writers have written many books now these writers that is a plural writers is written in the blue blue color so now writers the singular of writers is writer s is removed and books s is removed only book so what do you now these writers will become now this is the answers okay so number one now these writers will become this writer because singular for singular we use t h i s this now writer become uh, writers become writer this writer this writer now these these is used for the many plurals but for singulars we use this this writers now have have is again used with the plurals now we are using singular so for singular now we use has have is used with plurals but writer is a singular so this writer has written has uh, written now many many is a word which is used for more than one but here we are talking about only one book because we are going to change books into book so a book only one book why because we are changing writers into writer and we are changing books into book so now we cannot use many book because book is only single so a book so what are the changes one thing is changed here two things is changed here and three things are changed already here so correct is this writer has written a book okay next men's lives are short now there are two nouns one is men men the singular of men men is m a n men and lives again l i v e s l i f e life L I V E S. Now this rule is applicable here. Life. When we convert life into singular, it will become life. Second, M A N means. So first thing we change M E N. We made it singular M A N means. Means now lives will become life because we are talking about only one man. So 
लाइफ लाइफ इज फॉर ओनली वन मेन्स लाइफ आर शॉर्ट नाउ आर इज यूज फॉर प्लूरल नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अवर ओनली सिंगुलर इज शॉर्ट मेन्स लाइफ इज शॉर्ट वेरी शॉर्ट नाउ अट इज इट इज ओनली सेवेंटी टू एटी ईयर्स ओनली जनरली वन पर्सन लिव फॉर सेवेंटी टू एटी ईयर्स बट इन द अर्लियर डेज द मेन्स लाइफ वॉज हंड्रेड टू वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स third the students are writing in their notebooks now two nouns are there students the singular of students is a student and notebooks the singular of notebooks is notebook now we will change the student we will be changing the student student the student means we are talking about only one the student are writing now r is used for plural now it is singular he is writing the student is writing in their notebooks now notebooks become notebook and their their is used for plural but it is only a single so for singular student we will use his writing in his notebook okay there are so many changes students became student notebooks became notebook now with this changes there are some other changes r becomes is they are become his and notebooks become notebook so like that the children have balloons and toys now what is the singular of children yes child the child we are talking about only one the child have have is used for plural now we are using singular has the child has balloons now we are making it only balloon so we use article a a balloon and a toy a balloon and a toy okay next is both the opening batsmen batsmen m e n batsmen okay both we are talking about two scored centuries because one has made one uh, scored one century and the other had made other century so they are one century one century more than one century two centuries but individually they made only one one centuries now we are talking about both the opening batsmen now both both is used for two dono ke dono but here now we are changing into singular the batsman the now we remove both the batsman now m a m e n becomes m a n we are talking about only one so now the batsman the batsman or oh, sorry the opening batsman you know down opening the opening opening batsman scored 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 centuries no he has made only one so a century a century R Y, okay. R I E S is removed and R Y is there. Century. Now, lice are small insects that live on the bodies of humans and animals. Now there are how many? One, two, three, four, five nouns which needs to be converted into singulars. So I have written here all the answers. I will. 
click this picture and I will send you. So from there you can note it down. Remaining I have noted down on the board but I will send you this also. So I am explaining. Lies is changed into Laos. Now lies are. R is used for plural but here lies is singular. Laos is a small insect. Insect. Only S is removed. Insect. That leave now leave become leaves because we are we are talking about only a single so for single we use leaves rehta hai leaves on the body of now human humans that is another type of uh, making singular and plural human m a n and humans m a n s we can we use here so s is removed human and animals so s is removed and animal so that i will send you now this exercise number e i left for you now this is your homework with pens with the help of pencil you can do here but don't note down this in your cw notebook okay because otherwise there will be a lot of work to write note it down so i have made a cross here okay why i made a cross here because don't write this in your cw notebook uh, write only up to d exercise d exercise e you should do here what is exercise e look at the people and things in your school in your school look at around the people teacher student friend principal and things just like building ground furniture class table these are things so now look at these and write down 10 sentences here it is written 10 sentences sentences but i cut it and made it five sentences note it down five sentences using both singular and plural nouns just like one for example there is one there is one i had written stage there is one stage in my school because I have only uh, we have only one stage. So that is for one singular noun. And the second sentence: There are twenty boys in the in my class. Twenty boys in my class. So like that you can write so many uh, different different sentences. But here you need to write only five sentences. Five or six lines are the given here. You can note down six sentences. Make it six sentences. Note down six sentences. Three of singular noun and three are for plural noun. So let's finish our lecture here. Complete up to here and send me your worksheets. Okay. Thank you.